Hello, I'm Malia Sims, the author of The Secret Lives of Teeth, Understanding Emotional Influences on Oral Health. And I'm going to read uh, the introduction of this book here on uh, this video today. So, welcome to your mouth and its secrets, hidden within the familiar landscape of your teeth and gums. Your mouth the sight of so many mundane and pleasurable activities can often also be a source of anxiety or shame. Measured against the glossy veneered smiles you see on screens, your teeth can seem disordered, perhaps crowded, discoloured or missing, sometimes weak, sensitive or painful. Unlike the photoshopped arches of perfect pink gums and toothpaste ads, your gums may seem to be in sad retreat or spitefully bleeding from a touch of floss. You hear people talk about having good teeth or bad teeth as though teeth represent one's virtuous compliance with social expectations. Heroines flash blinding grins while villains grimace around rotten, crooked pegs. In capitalist societies, only poor adults have missing teeth because for enough money or the right insurance, dentists can repair or replace almost any dental problem. A glance in your mouth as you speak can instantly lead anyone to make assumptions about your economic status geographic mobility or physical vulnerability. In this book, all teeth are considered good teeth, no matter how much grief they've caused. Troublesome teeth or gums are only calling for you to pay attention to issues perceived as threatening to your body, psyche or soul, whether past or present. Dear reader, I'm addressing this book to you directly as though, like me, you have worried about your own teeth at some point in your life. Whenever I see someone with teeth or gum troubles, I feel much tenderness, compassion and empathy. And mostly it's you I've pictured in my mind as I've written the following pages. I expect that many readers have picked up this book out of curiosity that there could be more to dental problems than floss and sugar. I also invite readers who are blessed with resilient teeth and gums to learn about the role your mouth might play in speaking soul truths. This book has much to offer complementary health practitioners, therapists and coaches whose clients want to understand more about their teeth or gum issues. Kinesiologists and energy healers may turn frequently to these pages in your work. I respectfully salute dental professionals interested in extending the scope of the advice you offer your patients. This book can help to open deeper conversations when your patients ask why they have symptoms and to empower them to engage more collaboratively in their oral health. Whatever your reason, for reading. I hope you will approach this book with both an open mind and a healthy dose of scepticism. Ask yourself, does this ring true for me? Does it make sense with what I know to be true? You may be tempted to jump to the middle chapters to look up the meaning of a particular tooth or the interpretation of a certain symptom before closing the covers and walking away. For some readers, this approach could provide just enough information to expand your own therapeutic practice to help improve your oral health. However, this book is intended to work like a guidebook rather than a dictionary. Here you can access the grammar and culture of your teeth and gums, not just reference a new vocabulary. If you really want to establish sustained healing and transform your relationship with your teeth and gums, it's vital to understand and respond to your mouth's specific personal messages about your unique circumstances. Reading all of this book will help you to hold deep and meaningful conversations with your mouth 
which could lead to a wonderful lifelong friendship. What to expect? The Secret Lives of Teeth is the first in a series, each of which will focus on a different aspect of oral health. The book you are reading now offers a comprehensive overview of metaphysical influences on teeth and gums. Book two, The Empowered Dental Patient, coming out next year, will cover tactics for overcoming dental anxiety, factors to consider when making dental decisions, as well as protocols and practices to help ensure the best outcome from any dental experience. Book three will provide a comprehensive introduction to effective physical self-help strategies for preventing and healing dental problems and maintaining strong, healthy teeth and gums, including nutrition, hygiene, herbs, oral posture, jaw relaxation, as well as home remedies to relieve toothache and infection, remineralize cavities and decay, balance the oral microbiome, stabilize receding gums, and more. Here's an overview of what to expect in this first book, The Secret Lives of Teeth. Part 1, A Guidebook. Chapter 1, Root Cause. Provides context to explain how oral health can embody your emotional experiences as a member of your family, community and society. This chapter tells the story of my personal dental troubles and how I learned to use holistic strategies to save my remaining teeth. Chapter 2, The Cabinet of Curiosities, offers a new perspective on the familiar anatomy, biology and physiology of your mouth. Understanding how stress, trauma and emotional patterns can affect oral health and well-being through a lens of recent neurobiological research. The concepts, language and imagery of your mouth's physiological features can become a powerful metaphysical tool for healing the physical body. Chapter 3, A Manifesto for Metaphysical Healing, is offered as guardrails to help keep you safe as you apply metaphysical theories to individual experiences. The principles provide practical advice to follow as you read the following chapter. 2, An Atlas. Chapter 4, Mapping the Landscape of Your Mouth, unpacks the difference between two categories of metaphysical theory which can be combined to build layers of emotional and psychological correspondences onto specific parts of your mouth. This chapter introduces the existing literature of metaphysical theories of oral health. Chapter 5, Mapping with Mouth Meridians, explains the meridian system of traditional Chinese medicine and how it connects with each part of the mouth with the rest of the body via energy channels governed by different emotions. Chapter 6, Mapping Quadrants of the Mouth, describes the themes associated with the top, bottom, left, right, front, back of the mouth and is most useful for anyone dealing with symptoms that are localised in just one section of the mouth. Chapter 7, Mapping Types of Teeth, provides interpretations for symptoms which show up on a particular type of tooth, i.e. incisors, canines, premolars, molars or wisdom teeth. These psychosocial associations are drawn largely from the work of Dr. Michelle Caffin. Chapter 8, Mapping Tooth Surfaces, summarises a perspective which applies a unique meaning to each individual surface or plane of each tooth, offered by Dr. Christiane Bayer's Dental Decoding Theories. Chapter 9, Mapping with Tooth Archetypes, introduces the framework I have developed, Tooth Archetypes in which each of the 32 adult teeth are described with detailed character studies drawn from my coaching experience with hundreds of people all over the world. Chapter 10, Symptoms as Messengers, is a directory of the metaphysical associations for diseases, imbalances and injuries specific to the mouth, including abscesses and infections and an ankylized tooth, Bruxism, bite and TMJ, canker sores or aphthous ulcers, cracking, chipping or breaking teeth, decay, caries and cavities, 
gum conditions, gingivitis, periodontitis, receding gums, gum pockets and bone loss, missing teeth, retained baby teeth, root problems, nerve damage, non-vital tooth or resorption, plaque and tartar, and sensitive teeth. Part 3, a toolkit. Chapter 11, a treasury of transformational tools brings the theories home with practical exercises to help you apply personal insights and enable healing. Making sense of your oral issues can be like putting together a jigsaw puzzle where the picture is mostly blue sky. This chapter provides suggestions to help invite transformation with relaxed curiosity and a playful spirit. Chapter 12, Healing with Grace, summarizes this book's robust, flexible, pragmatic approach to metaphysical oral health. Symptoms are your system's attempt to bring you into balance, which requires delicacy, nuance, and consistent practice in your unique circumstances. An appendix of journaling prompts provides suggestions for writing exercises to enhance the healing potential of your insights from this book. The Secret Lives of Teeth is based on the premise that there can be emotional, energetic, spiritual, ancestral and psychological influences on the development of cavities, gum recession and other symptoms of oral ill health with a narrow but deep focus on the emotional, psychological, spiritual and collective influences on your teeth and gums, I invite you to explore a new complementary way to explore the question of why. That's the introduction. Uh, if you'd like to read more, look for The Secret Lives of Teeth on Amazon or on my website holistictoothfairy.com. Happy reading.